Hi there, I'm Krista, an ex-US visa officer, and I'm here today to talk to you about top tips for filling out the DS-160. Now the DS-160 can be a kind of daunting document. It is very long, it can take really some hours to fill out, and the system itself, the online platform that it's hosted on, isn't always reliable. Sometimes it will shut down on you and you have to go back in. So I can understand why it's frustrating to you and you need some extra help with it. Here I wanna give you some tips about filling it out and make sure that you understand exactly what it's used for in the visa interview. So the first thing, when you get to the visa interview, the visa officer isn't gonna have looked at your DS-160 thoroughly before your interview. It's not like they're studying your case in the DS-160 and then you know a few minutes later asking you to come up for an interview. No, as you are walking up to the visa window, the officer is looking at your DS-160. They are doing a highly quick scan of your DS-160 and they're picking out highlights from that DS-160. Things that visa officers typically focus on when they're doing that quick scan of the DS-160 are your marital status, your job, education, salary, whether you have family in the United States, where you're planning to travel, and if you've traveled internationally before, as well as if you yet answer yes to any of those security questions at the end of the DS-160. So those are the things that they're gonna most likely pick up on immediately in the DS-160, and you wanna make sure that all of those pieces of information are correct so that your case is correctly reflected as soon as you get up there. But this dynamic is hard, right? The visa officer is looking through your DS-160 super quickly, then they're gonna start asking you questions they can still be reviewing the DS-160 while they're asking you questions. So you really wanna be prepared for this dynamic and make sure that you understand it. Once they start asking you questions, in the interview, my number one recommendation is not to just repeat what's on the DS-160. You need to provide context and make the DS-160 come alive in your visa interview, okay? Do not just repeat the one word answers that are already on your DS-160. Now there are a few parts of the DS-160 that allow you to give additional explanation. So it'll say, you know, job duties explain, or if it, there's a question that asks you, have you ever been refused a US visa? If you answer yes to that question, a box will pop up and it will say explain. If you answer yes to any of the security questions, it also gives you an opportunity to explain. And this is a free form box where you can put what you want in there to explain your situation. My biggest suggestion for these boxes is if you're going to use them, do not put paragraphs upon paragraphs to explain your situation. The visa officer, because of the dynamic that I spoke about in the last point, that it's quick, they're reading it quickly, they're skimming it. If you've got two or three or four or five paragraphs in one of those explanation boxes, I can nearly guarantee you that the visa officer is not going to read the entire thing, okay? You need to be extremely concise in your answers there. One to two sentences max, and your answers need to be strategic, get to the point immediately, and really talk to why you qualify for this visa. The next thing also is, you know, you really wanna be thinking about these boxes as an opportunity to influence the officer's thinking about your case. So that's why it needs to be short, it needs to be concise, it needs to be impactful, it needs to be strategic in there. And then finally, um, and this is very important, make sure you thoroughly review the DS-160. There are a few data points in there that are very important to get right. Those include your name, passport number, your country of birth, the visa class that you're applying for, Make sure all of those are, are right, but also do a thorough review of everything else, your address, your job, your education, your prior travels, all the answers to your security questions. If you get someone to help you fill out the DS-160, uh, make sure that you are the one who does the final review of what's in there and that you're the one that presses submit. And that's because the visa officer, when you get to that window, expects you to be the expert on the DS-160, 
They expect you to know what's in there and they're not gonna accept an answer like, oh, well, someone else filled this out, so I'm not sure what, what the DS-160 says. This is your opportunity. The DS-160 is your opportunity to give the first impression of your case, and so it's gotta be a good one. And then your interview, that's your second opportunity. And you've got to make sure that both the DS-160 and the interview are prepared. You're ready for that interview. Here at Argo Visa, we help people understand the DS-160, what they need to put in there, how the visa officer is going to perceive certain things in the DS-160 and we're happy to help you if you need additional help. Please be in touch.